Sometimes in our lives We all have pain We all have sorrow But if we are wise We know that there's Always tomorrow Lean on me When you're not strong I'm gonna 
Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. This is Shannon. Um, I'd just like to thank everyone for joining our district-wide celebration for our retiring superintendent, Larry Smalley. We have many traditions in this district, and one of them is organized by our dedicated Glendale Teacher Association. At this time, I'd like to turn the program over to Mike Birmingham. Mike, if you could unmute yourself or Karen, help me. Okay, can everybody hear me? I guess okay. Um, so yeah, we, Larry and I, usually at the end of the year for our retirement, um, uh, celebration. We, uh, I always put out uh, an email to the staff and I wanted to uh, ask the staff all the time, like find adjectives that would describe the retiree. And so uh, it's only fitting that um, when I did it this time, there were just an overwhelming response to people who had so many wonderful and uh, kind words uh, to share about Larry. And so um, I literally ran out of room um, to, um, when I sent it out, um, the little graphic that I sent out, uh, because people had so many different things to say. So I decided to put this little uh, word cloud together. Um, and it, it really, I think, really exemplifies what Larry is all about. And some of the things that, that he is really known for in his tenure as both uh, principal and superintendent. Um, and if you look at the little word cloud here, um, the, the ones that are the biggest are the ones I think I've, are the top 10 and the ones I think that really define him the most. When we talk about Larry, you certainly talk about being a, a caring, a empathetic person, uh, very, very considerate and compassionate. Uh, he's certainly uh, made decisions based on being student-centered and his big thing is all about family. Um, he's very family orientated. He always says, put family first and, and, and uh, that's the most important thing. Uh, he's always been very supportive of the, uh, uh, the uh, union here and of just of everyone uh, that believes in kids first. Very inspirational, understanding, approachable. Uh, he always has an open door policy uh, and I think has really been a, a role model and, and a mentor not only to me, but for many of the, the teachers um, and uh, other staff that has come in contact with him. So um, Larry, I'm gonna uh, make a copy of this and uh, send it to you um, and you can put it in your, your man cave or certainly you have a nice place for it. Uh, but this certainly um, uh, really, we are going to miss you. Um, people don't realize what a supportive person you have been throughout your tenure here. And I just want to personally thank you for everything that you've done for the school, the district, uh, and the Glendale community. Thanks, Mike. Um, I'd like to start by thanking many of the veteran staff that helped me pull together um, this special dedication to Larry. Um, as we all know, and all the teachers especially, Zoom has a wonderful way of lagging when we play videos. I assured you I had tried all the tips and tricks that Jenica has passed out to reduce the lag. Um, but after practicing multiple times and multiple different options, um, the word sound quality will come across great, but the words may not match the mouths. Um, so enjoy the words of our fellow colleagues, even if they don't match the moving mouths on the screen. Um, please note this entire presentation is being recorded for anyone that misses it or would prefer to watch it without the lag. So enjoy the show. Larry, this is to you from us. I, I do hope that Larry, 
on behalf of the Glendale Teachers Association and the entire Glendale community, I would like to wish you all the best in your future endeavors. During your tenure here, you have consistently fostered compassion, caring, and commitment to the Glendale community. It is my hope that your legacy will continue on for many years to come. Wishing you all the best. Take care and enjoy your new life. Larry, you and I have worked together for quite a while now, and I want to wish you the very best as you embark on the next phase of your life journey, wherever that may take you. You have always kept the Glendale River Hills um, tradition of forward thinking, asking what's next, what can we do to be even better, never being complacent and saying, this is good enough. I have appreciated that you've led the Glendale River Hills School District by implementing programs and initiatives that always kept our students in the forefront, asking what is best for them. You have really looked at our students and respected their unique gifts and talents and individuality that they brought to our district and kept us thinking, what can we learn from them? And then you have challenged us to think, what can we do back for them? How can we love them and teach them and, and take care of them? Um, never letting us just be complacent either. Um, that has what has really kept our Glendale tradition alive. Something that I have enjoyed is when you would come over to Parkway, you were probably on your way to a meeting and I would shout out in the hall and grab you and say, come on in, see what we're doing. And you would always come in. You would look at my students' work and talk to them and visit with them. And you cared about what I was teaching and what they were learning. You really showed interest. And so I appreciated that personal touch for my students and for me as a staff member and that you extended that to other staff members as well. So I wish you the best. I wish you blessings and thank you for all that you have done. Larry Smalley, congratulations on a great tenure in Glendale uh, as a principal and as a district administrator. Uh, I have had the good fortune of having you as my longest uh, serving colleague in that role. And uh, I think that's a real testimony to your, to your uh, leadership and, and work here. Uh, throughout it all, you have been a champion for uh, bringing innovations into our district. Uh, your support of new ideas and concepts uh, have always been met with an openness that uh, is refreshing and uh, really unique in, in education. Uh, and then also selfishly, your uh, unwavering support of the fine arts and what we do in our district here uh, is impressive. And uh, I want you to know that the, the students that we serve here in Glendale are in a much better place, not only um, in the fine arts department, but uh, just in general because of your leadership. So as you move forward, I, I do hope that uh, the next chapter of your life uh, keeps you in, involved in education somehow. You, you're, you have many great qualities that make you a, a really valuable leader, uh, especially during these times. And whether it's leading a district through the challenges of COVID-19 uh, or just uh, you know, leading with compassion, um, education is where it's at for you. So well done, all the best, and take care. Hi, Larry. 
um, although you've only officially been my boss for four and a half years, I have realized that we have worked together on Glendale School Projects for 13 years. Yep, lucky 13. Believe me, the irony is not lost. So um, I've worked for a lot of different personalities over the years, good and bad, but no one has been as kind as you. When you hired me as your assistant, um, you took a chance on me. And since I'm the self-proclaimed worst secretary in the world, you had no idea what you were in for. But you've always been patient and thoughtful and forgiving and quick to laugh with me and sometimes even at me, and that's okay. So I just wanna thank you for giving me this opportunity. And I wanna let you know that I'm really excited for you and happy for your future. And I can't wait to hear about what your next opportunities are. I'm gonna miss you, so take care. I did it! Larry, I want to thank you for shaping me into the teacher I am today. I am forever grateful and committed to every kid, every day, whatever it takes. Wishing you all the best. Hey, Smalley, it's Shiver. I used to work for you about a year and a half ago and then I retired, like I understand you are now. Anyways, I wanted to be there today to wish you a happy retirement and razz you a little bit about it uh, in person, but uh, I'm in Switzerland skiing with my family. Um, I'll be back out in just a minute. Nah, not really. I'm actually home like everyone else during the pandemic. Anyway, I just wanted to say I really enjoyed working for you and I always enjoyed how you would have an encouraging word to say whenever times got tough. I really appreciated that. And I also wanted to add this. What, you had to go and retire because you just couldn't take that I was already out there retired? Nah, just kidding. You've earned it. Have a wonderful retirement and congratulations. Ciao. Hi, Larry. This is Beth Woodward. I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. And I just wanted to thank you for having a big impact on uh, my life and career here through Glen Hills. You are always a big supporter of the arts programs and the music program. And my parents still ask about you because there was one concert where you actually complimented me and my parents were shocked to hear it. Um, you mentioned that, you know, Glen Hills was a great place for me. So, Again, nothing but the best moving forward, and we'll miss you. Hey, Larry. Uh, EJ, Katie, and I just want to say thank you and, and send you off with a couple of fun messages. So here we go. Hi, Larry. We want to know how much we want you to know how much we're gonna miss you. We want to thank you for all the support of Fayad. You've been so amazing, letting us do our gymnastics unit, our roller skating, um, always supporting us with swimming and the fun things we want to do, like the triathlon and marathon. We really appreciate you, and we couldn't have done all those amazing things without you. So thank you so much, and we want you to know we wish you every joy and happiness in your life and in your future and that you made a big difference while you've been here at, at Fun Hills. And we really appreciate everything you've done for us. Uh, hey, Larry. Um, you know, I've had some people ask me what my like favorite memories were of having you as my boss, and I just always say like how approachable you are with things. Like, I look back to... I think it was 2006 where we had January 2nd, the Badgers were playing in a Rose Bowl, or I'm sorry, in a bowl game against Auburn. And of course I was in your office whining about having to work that day when the Badgers were on TV. And I remember you looking at me and saying, well, you don't look so good. I think you should go home and get on your couch. And I did, and Brian Calhoun ran all over him for like 200 plus yards. And we think we won that game 24-10. So thanks for stuff like that. Appreciate it.
Yeah, approachable is right. Um, I remember the very first time I met you, I don't think I even had shaken your hand and said what my name was. And I had already said that past present stated that I was going to be coaching nuclear wrestling and I was going to leave every day at three. And you stuck with me and gave me another chance because that was a terrible first impression. Um, and you stuck through me with me through a number of other things like calling you from the bar at uh, 10 o'clock at night, asking you if we had school the next day. And um, you indicated that we wouldn't. And uh, myself and a number of colleagues drank to you that night. And we appreciate that, you for stuff like that, Larry. Hi, Larry. I'm back again. I also wanted to thank you for, I already thanked you for everything you did as a teacher, but I also wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us as human beings. And I uh, really appreciate all the kindness that you've shown being through, going through the roller coaster of life, um, the ups and downs, the really difficult uh, situations or times that happen, and the kindness that you've always shown through that. So thank you for that. You're amazing. We appreciate you. Keep up the amazing attitude and perseverance. Uh, your kindness. Well, and I've said this to you before, thank you. You saved my career by uh, bringing me back here to work with this great PE team, or at least Katie. Titanic. And uh, I always uh, remember you fondly for that. Thank you. And uh, when the stupid virus finally lifts, uh, lifts I'll make sure that I uh, get you some beers over at Players. Thanks for everything, Larry. Really appreciate you. Yeah, Larry, um, you were always more than a boss. You were just someone that we could look to, uh, depend on. You were understanding and caring, um, and you always believed that family first, students first, and we appreciate you for, for that. Um, you, you were a friend as well, but more than anything, you were our leader, and uh, we will miss you, and we thank you for that. So one last uh, mask on goodbye. Thank you, Larry. Thank Bye, you, Larry. Larry. We'll be in touch, Thank and you. hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye. Are and I'm out of breath. Keep me in your heart for a while. If I leave you, it doesn't mean I love you any less. Keep me in your heart for a while. Hi, Larry. When I heard you were moving on, I thought back to the first day together, you as the new middle school principal and me as the new middle school secretary. I was thinking how unnerving it probably was to you to learn you had inherited a secretary that had never worked in a middle school before or knew anything about scheduling. But we made it through that first year just fine, thanks to you. What I will remember about you is how compassionate you were to staff, allowing them time to take care of their families when they needed it. Not all places are like that. Thank you, and I wish you all the best in the future. Larry, my adjective for you was genuine. You always had confidence in what I do, and I appreciate your encouragement and support throughout our 17 years working together. Thank you for helping me excel in what I do. You are an exceptional boss and you will be missed. Good morning, Larry. Um, I was told to keep this message short. I guess I've never done that in my career, so I will try today as a first. <laughs> um, it's with lots of sadness and joy that I both uh, have for you and your family. Um, it has been 18 years that we've been together here. You started a few months after I did in this position, and um, we've had a great run. It's been one that has had its ups and downs, but it's been many, many more ups than downs. Um, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed being with you, working with you, and having your friendship over the past 18 years. Um, we've uh, not always agreed on things, but in the end, we've always come together to make the district better. And I know that that was in your heart all the time and in my heart. Um, I will miss you personally. The district will miss you. And the students and, and families of Glendale will miss you also. This is never goodbye. 
uh, because that's so fun, final. So what I'd like to end with is just, um, I appreciate having you as a friend and knowing you and continue to do want to do that. Um, so a good way to end is so long for now until we meet again. God bless you, Larry. Larry, I want to wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. And I'd like to thank you for the impact that you've had on this district. When faced with adversity, you celebrated diversity. This comes across in both conversations as well as actions that you've exhibited towards others. You truly value the staff, the students, and their families, making the Glendale River Hills School District a great place to both work, learn, and have fun. A new opportunity means a fresh start and all of the wonderful possibilities that new beginnings bring. With that, I say, have a wonderful, happy retirement. Hi, Larry. I wanna start by saying thank you uh, for hiring me 12 years ago to be the principal at Parkway Elementary School in Glendale. Um, this has been a very rewarding job for me um, coming to Glendale and um, I am very appreciative to the opportunity that you gave me. So thank you. Um, as you leave, I'm sure you know that this is very difficult for many of us that have worked with you for so long. Um, you've given us many pieces of advice and I'd like to give that advice back to you. Um, first of all, you have always taught us that family comes first and I hope during your retirement, you have extra time to spend with your family because I know they're very important to you. Um, the other piece of advice you've always given us is that kindness matters. And as you go through your next stage in your career and whatever um, this road takes you to, um, just keep that in mind, kindness matters. You've impressed that on all of us over the years and it's really made an impact. So thank you for that. And lastly, um, you've encouraged us to find balance between our work life and our home life. So I encourage you in your next steps to continue that process and focus on your family, and kindness and a healthy balance for you. So thank you for all that you've done. You will be greatly missed. Um, I appreciate your leadership, your mentorship, and lastly, your friendship. So thank you and good luck. Morning, and you see that crazy sun. Keep me in your heart for a while. There's a train leaving nightly called when all is said and done. Keep me in your heart for a while. Sha la 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 la. Keep me in your heart for a while. Sha la 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 la. Keep me in your heart for a while. All right, thanks again to everyone that helped put this um, video together. Um, it's very special message to send to Larry. Um, now I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and um, Larry has some words for us. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just wanna say, oops, we're getting some feedback. Good morning again. All right, I think this is working now. So anyway, I just want to say thank you. You should mute you. All right, now we got it going here. Uh, welcome to a pandemic and a retirement. I can't say thank you enough to everyone. Um, you've had, I've had so many well-wishers out there. This video was impressive. Uh, pull, pulling Lorna out actually got me teary-eyed. Um, so thank you to everyone who put this together. Um, I've been overwhelmed by the amount of support that I've that you have shown me since I announced my retirement, um, which is going to be actually November 16th. So it's a little early, but I do I do want to leave uh, with two messages. Um, just kind of a uh, you had a little bit of history of me here, but I want to talk about the history that brought me to Glendale 
And then I have a challenge for you as, as, I, as I leave. So my journey to Glendale started back in 2003 when I was hired as the principal of Glen Hills Middle School. And several of those people who were just on that video, um, so if people don't like me, blame them because they were actually on the hiring committee. So you know who you are. Um, but when I started at Glen Hills and I've continued as the superintendent, which happened in 2006, was a passion for every single child. Um, that passion kind of came up from where I grew up. And some of you know that I grew up in an alcoholic family. And again, alcoholism is a little bit like autism. It's, it's, it's tricky because I grew up in an alcoholic family that nobody would actually know about it. It wasn't like a brown bag guy laying on the bench. Uh, my parents were professionals, but they were also alcoholics. And for what that meant for me is that I didn't really have a connection with an adult until I was actually in college. I was in college in a pre-law of all things. It was my second year in college when I was struggling, when a family friend told me that I could be somebody and that she said, what she said is I had natural leadership ability. I was stunned. I was 20 years old and I never felt appreciated like that. And or that I had value and that I could actually help others. Um, at that same time, I was also coaching high school football and the head coach told me that I should switch to education and that teaching was very rewarding profession. So later that year, I switched my major from pre-law to education. It took me a few years to graduate, um, barely graduate, but that's a different story for a different time. But the moral of the story is thanks to two people who took the time to tell me that I had worth, I'm here today. Uh, 15 years as a superintendent, 20 years as an administrator, um, 30 years in education. And I always think back to that, like who knew? Well, what we all know, um, we are all those people. We can make or break the spirit of, of our loved ones, of our friends, and yes, even our students by our words. So never forget the power of a positive comment. That kindness matters is really true. So I took those experiences with me everywhere I went. As many of you know, as a special education teacher for 10 years before going into administration. Um, at that time, we called kids emotionally disturbed and wonder why they uh, struggled in the classroom sometimes. But I worked to build relationships with each child because I knew then, as I definitely know now, that relationships matter the most. Building relationships isn't easy because especially with children who've been abused by our educational system in the past. I've said this before also, it's easy to love the kids who love us and love school. It's much harder to love the kids that spit at us or that call you really nasty names. Although when I get called nasty names, I usually try to think about it because they're usually pretty clever at the same time. But that period of, of my life led me to really know and understand. It's something that I've said many times and I say it to every new employee. My philosophy on education is pretty simple. If kids like going to your classroom, they do better. I took that same approach as an administrator. I truly believe that if our employees, our teachers, our support staff, our custodians, our secretaries, if you feel valued and like coming to work, you work happier and in the end that helps all of our students. So I'm thankful to our school board, the other administrators in our district that have had that same belief. I hope if nothing else, you know that I value each and every one of you much more than you even know. So the second part of my retirement message um, is kind of a challenge to you also. As most of you know, I'm a pretty big believer in reading, especially poetry, to make connections. When I started as a superintendent, and I've continued for those of you who get tired of it, I share the same poem by Ian Hughes that's titled, We Are Responsible. I'm not gonna read the whole poem to you because it makes me cry every time. But there are a couple stanzas that I think really stand out. And it talks about, we are responsible for children who bring us sticky kisses, fistfuls of dandelions, who sleep with the dogs and bury goldfish. And then it continues, but we are also responsible for those students who don't get dessert, who have no blanket to drag behind them, who don't have rooms to clean up, whose monsters are real. I bring this up today because I have a challenge for you. 
And actually, some of you just said it. Our motto for many years has been every kid, every day, whatever it takes. This comes right out of our shared belief that we can change the lives of every single child. I truly believe that even the children's whose nightmares are real. Unfortunately, I had to take a step back and one of the reasons for my retirement, and it's really through no one's fault. It's, it's no, no fault of anyone. But I feel as if our model has changed a little bit. This pandemic and institutional racism that just has a way to seep back into our lives when we least expect it. Um, I think if we were true to ourselves right now, we'd need to change our model to something like most kids, most days, depending on how the privileged elite feel. So this is my challenge to you, because I haven't been able to change our society. I will continue to work as much as I can to help, but I challenge you to help our state, to help our community, to help this school board, to help every employee in our district, that that motto, most kids, most days, depending on how the privileged elite feel, that does not belong here in Glendale. You are better than that, we are better than that. So finally, I do wanna thank you all for being just a great inspiration to me. The overall, the overall amount of love that this district has will lead you to, to do great things. Do not let institutional racism win. The work that you're gonna be doing right after this is the right work. It's the necessary work to make sure that our pledge of every kid, every day, whatever it takes, becomes our reality. That's my um, closing. We're gonna take a brief five minute break. And after that, I will uh, introduce Dr. Elliot Moser. And again, I just wanna say thank you to all of you who put this great presentation together. Uh, pulling out a Warren Zevon song. Nice, nice job. Somebody was listening. Um, so I love you all. Uh, we need to say that more to each other. I love you all. Take care. Vision softly creeping. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted. Silence. In restless dreams, I walked alone. Narrow streets of cobblestone. Neath the halo of a street lamp, I turned my collar to the cold and damp. When my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a that split the night and touch the sound of silence and in the naked light i saw ten thousand people maybe more people talking without speaking people hearing Writing songs that voices never share, and no one dare disturb the sound of silence. my
Horses and ladies by the score, all dressed in satin and waiting by the door. Ooh, what a lucky man he was! They made up his bed, a gold-covered mattress on which he was led. He went to fight wars for his country and his king, of his honor and his glory. The people. His blood ran as he cried. No money could save him, so he lay down and he died. Again, welcome back, everybody. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Are you kidding me? Lucky Man, it's one of my favorite songs of all time. I do feel very lucky to have been here uh, for the past 18-plus um, years. It's been an incredible run, and I thank you all. Um, I do want to hand over the rest of the meeting to Dr. Elliot Moser.
After this meeting, um, I'm here to serve him through November 16th. But again, just kind of a, a heads up to everybody is that Dr. Moser will be the acting superintendent as of today, and that I'm here to serve him. And if you need something, I'm here to help you also. But I will be here uh, to work with Elliot. And with that, Dr. Moser. Larry, thank you. And thank you to the entire staff. Before we um, move on, uh, Larry, if you'd let me uh, uh, say a couple of words to add to the, uh, the retirement, if you don't mind, uh, the retirement celebration. I, I also want to add my, uh, my name to the entire staff at Glendale River Hills, the school district. Uh, you've been a great colleague. You've been a great friend. Um, I have to say, you're too young to retire. Uh, I can say that uh, from my perspective of where I am chronologically in the, uh, in the age spectrum. Uh, you have not only been a, a phenomenal contributor to the community, and I'm speaking as a longtime resident of the community. Um, we appreciate you in Glendale, Larry. Um, but I have to say in front of your colleagues at, uh, in the school district that you are admired and recognized by your, fire, uh, your fellow uh, superintendents. Uh, they look to Larry as a leader. Uh, he has led on many issues, not just equity, which is extremely important, but he has been a solid, consistent voice of leadership and what's right with our profession. So Larry, uh, uh, you're appreciated, uh, you're admired. Um, I don't know though, Mike, uh, in his opening comment uh, about his word cloud, I don't know if you're always agreeable. I'm not sure that. I, I, I may just take that as a, but uh, uh, I, I, I'm, I am impressed that the staff and faculty uh, in, their, in their thank you and congratulations to you, Larry. Um, and I say this to the faculty too. I, I, I congratulate you and the staff for taking the time uh, and the appreciation to say thank you to Larry Smalley. It is no small measure uh, when a person has spent as much time and effort and love uh, uh, and caring into uh, their job as Larry Smalley has, that you as a staff say thank you to him. And uh, I can tell you it means a lot to Larry. This is a big moment in his life. Uh, to know the people that he admires and uh, uh, appreciates working with are saying thank you in return. So Larry, I just want to add my, my thank you and congratulations. And I'll say to the Glendale River Hill staff, this is the last, this is not the last, we're going to hear about Larry Smalley in our profession. Uh, he's going to, uh, 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 he has a lot of contributions to make uh, with us, and in conjunction with us uh, uh, concerning uh, uh, education um, uh, in matching what he's done in the, in the past. And somebody, somebody said we're the, one of the mottos at, um, at Glendale River, River Hills is forward and moving forward. And that's what Larry is doing. And uh, I look forward to uh, a year moving forward with you, Larry, and I thank you for all your help in this transition, and um, it's gone well, so you, uh, uh, thank you. Um, I don't know if, it's, it's, if there's a, uh, any, anything symbolic and it's snowing out today. Uh, I'm, I'm looking out my kitchen window right now, and it's snowing out there, and I'm not sure I like that for October 26th. Uh, I hope everyone has had a good weekend, uh, 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 relaxing, uh, getting ready for the week. Uh, today, uh, uh, the Professional Development Day, uh, again, thank you to everyone who uh, has put together um, this, uh, this day, uh, both in terms of, uh, of recognizing Larry Smalley, but in terms of the, uh, the Professional Development Day. 
I, I had a chance to talk with uh, the principals, uh, Shannon, a little bit about, and Larry, about uh, today's work. Um, I think it is significant that they've taken the survey, they surveyed all of the, 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 the staff uh, at uh, Glendale River Hills. And uh, they're using that survey, uh, it, it, they, they used it in modeling the, today's work, but they're taking that survey to move us forward and where we're gonna go in, in days to come. Uh, and I think that is important. Anytime you ask somebody what they think, you have to be prepared to follow through on that. And the preparers of today's uh, professional development, they have done that. Uh, the equity work uh, is, is going to be a foundation. Uh, it wasn't just in the past, in going forward, it's going to be our, our foundation. Larry was uh, the president of the, uh, the Closing the Achievement Gap Consortium uh, organization of uh, 37 school districts in the Milwaukee area, and he built it into being a premier organization. Uh, uh, and uh, we're going we're gonna to follow up on that uh, foundation that he has set. Um, uh, but I also uh, I, I want to compliment the, 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 the formers, uh, the, the people who formulated today's day, that uh, from the survey, they've indicated that you want time to work the pandemic has brought some changes to our uh, how we conduct ourselves uh, as educators, and uh, I, I think the survey did a nice job in, in laying out what is helpful uh, to you. Uh, just some uh, some quick things on what we're going to be doing with that foundation that uh, uh, Larry has set. Um, we've already started the superintendent search. It started on Thursday of last week, the school board gave approval um, uh, to, con to seek a, 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 a firm to conduct the superintendent search. The request for proposal went out on Thursday and on November 9th, all those proposals are back in. So the search has started and whether it's to me or to the search firm or to the school board, uh, that offer of the staff having input is, is an extremely important uh, part of, the, uh, uh, of uh, that, that uh, search. Uh, the school board has, already, has also directed that committee work is going to be the basis of how the school board is going to conduct their work in the future. So uh, I, I want to just let the faculty and, this, and the staff know that starting this coming Wednesday, the board has two uh, committee meetings, the personnel committee and the policy committee. And that's the start of how we're going to, we're going to begin doing committee work. The work of the board is going to be done in committees and then referred recommendations are going to be made to the full board. And that's going to be a, an important uh, a part of uh, how we do business. It gives you as a staff uh, and the faculty and it gives parents greater access to the board and it gives board members a greater, a greater uh, opportunity to uh, provide for uh, leadership in their role as, as uh, school board members. Um, uh, I want to also say that uh, in, in talking to people uh, that I've had a chance to talk to already, the issue of literacy has come forward quite often. Uh, I also want to say that I have been impressed and all of you are to be complimented. The civility in the school district is good. Uh, it's better than good. Uh, I commented to Larry the other night that there's a school board meeting uh, it was on the 21st. And during the, during the pandemic, uh, not all school board meetings are, are civil. And I, uh, I was impressed that whether it was parent comments uh, um, that we are doing our business. Uh, we are doing our business as professional educators in a professional manner, but the community appears, and from what I hear, they respect how we're doing our business. And that civility, that empathy, that understanding of what's happening during the pandemic is an extremely important part of how we're going to conduct our business. That also leads to the pandemic. We're going to, we're, we, we need to, honor 
and Larry has set this uh, foundation that the pandemic is a bad thing. It's, it's, uh, we have to be, we have to follow uh, the guidelines of respecting the health and well-being of our, our, of ourselves, our colleagues, our students, our parents. And so I'm going to expect that we are going to maintain uh, a healthy and safe environment in the Glendale River Hill School District. Uh, the, the, I, 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 I wish I could say that the pandemic is going to be a, a fleeting occasion. I don't think it is. I think we, uh, we've got some problems with the pandemic, but I think the Glendale River Hill School District and I think the community are, uh, are understanding that we are doing a very good job of uh, meeting the needs of our students, period. And I'm not saying uh, under the circumstances, I think that uh, there's been a lot of planning and preparation. Uh, let us again, the word empathy and understanding are important here. If somebody uh, has uh, tested positive uh, or has been around people who tested positive uh, for COVID-19, let's be understanding and let's help. And I think we've been doing that and we need to keep, uh, we need to keep doing that uh, as, as we do move uh, forward. Uh, so, uh, I said I was going to keep it uh, somewhat short, and I I I I, uh, I mean that. Um, uh, I appreciate how welcoming you as a staff and faculty have been. Uh, I, I'm going to enjoy my eight nine months uh, helping out the school district and helping out the uh, uh, the community. Uh, Larry, uh, I know the school board is saying thank you to you. Uh, all the school board members, all I've known a number of the school board members over your tenure. You've, and, and uh, you're, you're, a, you're, a, you're a deeply appreciated man who has uh, improved our, our community. And um, uh, you, you, need, you need to know that and take that to heart. Uh, and you've made many, many friends here. Um, uh, Shannon, uh, thank you for allowing me to uh, greet uh, uh, the, uh, the faculty and staff today. And uh, uh, I want to add, uh, again, my congratulations to Larry. Uh, but I also know that his, his life is moving on uh, to give further uh, uh, contributions to uh, uh, our beloved profession which is being as a as an educator. So thank you to everyone. Larry, I'll see you probably later uh, later in the day. Uh, and uh, everyone have a good uh, a, a good uh, professional development day. So Shannon, I don't know if I turn it back to you. Uh, Shannon, I don't know if I turn it over to the principals, but I, I'm. I'm going to jump on just to say thank you, Elliot. I appreciate you. And we've been texting back and forth with the principal so that everybody can know that we are going to start our PD at 9.15, which is 14 minutes from now. It's the same Zoom link. Again, Elliot, thank you so much for the kind words. And to the Glendale River Hills uh, staff, you guys are phenomenal. I can't thank you enough. I love you all. Uh, have a wonderful day.